Welcome to Twisted Sage Studios. This is Brian Besco. Today we are here to talk about the Golden Light Rod. Now the Golden Light Rod is an ancient tool and it is just now coming back into our reality as the veil lifts. Energetically, it's a golden rod. It's about 20 or so inches long. Initially, when you look at it, it looks like a golden light or maybe a golden white light that comes out of that. It's really high frequency. But then as you look deeper, there's colors and the colors are fuzzy. And that's because there's also a sound that comes from the rod, um, from the energetic rod. And the sound is used for healing, clearing, everything, everything that this rod does. As the color and the sound work together as part of what the tool is. On the physical level, it is this brass rod right here. Now the golden light rod exists on that higher dimensional plane and anchors into the physical through this rod, which is cut to within a hundred thousandths of a millimeter. Now, the sacred measurement that this is cut at is the Chotuakan unit, which was the base measure for one of our favorite rings, the Balance and Harmony ring. Now, as you hold on to the rod, if you hold on to it in the physical, um, the higher soul self would also step in to hold on to the rod. Now, the work that we do here directly affects all time, space, and dimensions that your soul spark exists within and on. Now, when someone holds the wand, they are engulfed in a golden white light. A clearing takes place with the person as the vibrations are raised all around them. And this brings through more than just personal and environmental clearing. Rather, situations and realities are also cleared and healed in the process. Now, the golden white wand, um, it does come with a little ring on the bottom, and you can put all the bells and whistles if you choose. But the tools do not affect the energetics of the wand. Now, you can use the wand to amplify the tools. Um, now, we'd like to just talk a little bit about the, the attunement process that we're going to do here. Uh, we always start from, from within the sacred space of the heart. Now, you can imagine your consciousness as a little ball of light the size of a marble, and it sits right in the middle of the brain, right behind the pineal gland. It's what looks out our physical eyes. Before we were born, our consciousness resided within the physical heart, as there are brain cells within that physical heart. So we're going to just simply move our consciousness, that little ball of light, back down into that sacred space of the heart. Now, when we step back into the heart, that is where we access all that we are. That is where we access our higher soul self, is from that sacred space of the heart. It's also a place where the ego cannot go. So when we do this work, we must operate from within that heart space. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through into that sacred space of the heart now, and then we will do that attunement with this golden white wand. All right. So to go into that sacred space of the heart, if you could just visualize yourself standing on your favorite spot in nature, that place on the earth that you're the most in love with the earth. And as you send your love down to the earth, it sends its love right back up. So breathe in that unconditional healing, loving energy right up into the heart. Next, connect to source, creator, God, central sun, whatever you call that higher power. And breathe in that unconditional healing, loving energy into the crown and into the heart as well. And then we breathe in from both earth and sky, bringing all those energies together within the heart, earth, sky, and you. Now, if you would use your imagination or your visualization to see that your heart is just light. It's a fire. It's the soul's fire. Now take that light that is your soul's fire and send that down to the crystal sun within the earth. And then that crystal sun shines right back up and then send that light right up to source, creator, God, central sun, bringing that light back down as well. And so then you're standing as that column of light, a column of light from the heart flame, from that soul's fire, connected and grounded. 
All right. Now that we are in that space, I'd like to offer this wand up to you. So I'm going to hold this wand up. Now, as you intend and visualize to be holding on to this wand, the higher soul self is there holding on to it as well. Now, what we do at this time is simply make the statement that you're in your heart space, which you are already. Make the statement that you are clean and clear. Now, clean and clear throughout all time, space, dimensions. Clean and clear of programs and beliefs which you hold you into a specific perspective or reality. So we'll take in a deep breath with those intentions of that being clean and clear. As you release that breath, all that you are along with the universe will put everything back together again and anchor that into the heart. All right. So when we do this work, it is aligning all time, space, dimensions for the work to be complete. Now the golden white light cleans and clears. Your field is completely cleaned and cleared as your entire being raises in vibration. Lower vibration programs, beliefs are cleared in that process. With intention, you can clear implants, entities, cords, all other non-beneficial energetic attachments are completely gone. So this brings you to a completely a clean slate. Completely clean and clear. Programs, beliefs, and even karma is completely cleared in a moment if that is what you choose as your soul's path, as your soul chooses. And what's brought back in is between the universe and you, the bigger you. So it's that simple. Now, most importantly, when you do the work, you don't want to try to bring something in to be a certain way. Um, you don't want to try to put it into a box or limit yourself. You just allow that higher soul self, that consciousness, which is, you know, has that higher perspective and knows what is for the highest and greatest good for you. And just trust and allow that your higher soul self and the universe will do everything that is needed in the highest and best good. All right. So, yeah, that stepping out of the way is one of the hardest things with this. Now, there are a few people whose souls will not grab onto this rod. As truth and harmony is the basis to these um, these tools will perpetuate truth and harmony. And if that is not within the soul's path of truth and harmony, then the soul just won't grab it. Um, so, again, um, if you were drawn to this video and you're watching it and you're doing the work now, you know, you can more than likely trust that your soul has done the work with this. And as this is an attunement, you can bring this in again at any time. Now, you can use this for the environment. You can just visualize yourself being where it is that you want to do the clearing with the environment. So let's start with your home or your space that you're in now. So you just hold that rod, that golden light rod. And as you hold that, in that whole space that you are in, there's just a sphere of gold and white light that encompasses that workspace, including the earth below. And this doesn't matter if you are standing there in person or if, if you are doing this by distance and visualizing yourself in that space. Now, for an instant, there is a void as everything is sucked up and it explodes out in that white light. All that is left is a feeling of grace and ease to the environment. The area is left clean and clear and in a high vibrational state. And the cool thing is, is that this bubble extends throughout time and dimensions. 
causing this residual effect of the work there. At any time you ever go back to look at it, that work is there. And another cool thing is, is that whatever work is cleared, we can never go back and find it. It's like it totally wipes out the timelines and realities that the work was done in. That is, um, you know, done in the highest and greatest good as determined by your soul. Because all of these tools, while well, this tool right here specifically, especially, is powered by the higher soul self. However you can see and say that. Now, with this golden white <clears throat> wand, these guys originally came into being through um, a good friend of mine, Shelly Darling. Now, Shelly Darling has golden light dowsing. And we were coming up with a new dowsing rod. And this new dowsing rod, um, it was my intention to use these straight line cubit measures and to create that energetic template and to anchor that in, just like we do with any of the rings. But of course, as we try to create as the human, when you are a creator, a lot of times your higher soul self has a different outcome. So we first saw that these dowsing rods that we had created, um, that they were doing the clearing work, they were dropping you into the heart space, um, they were holding the energetic ascension chamber within it. Um, and then as things progressed and more and more of us kept playing with this uh, whole concept of what this rod is going to be, you know, we, we found that there was now a tool that was like actually shooting out these little cottony bubbles and they would just go out and stick to the environment and act like expandable foam of just this white light, um, just this high frequency that did all that clearing work. Um, and then more time went by and of course when my sister Brenda takes a look at things, things seem to just change and morph. We found that this was actually a ancient tool and that is what started to come through more and more. And after, oh, I'd say about a month of us playing with this and then we started to see the colors in it and then Brenda recognized or was shown to activate the sound on this ancient tool. So once the sound aspect was activated, that's when all those colors were just a fuzzy color of still that golden white light too when you look at it. Um, so it is such a complex tool, but yet it is very easy for us to access. Um, again, you don't need the physical tool. All you need is to just go through that procedure and trust that that all happens. Trust and allow the higher soul self. So another phenomenal thing that happens when you're doing the environmental clearing, just like when you're using the, the dowsing rods, um, it will either clear or reroute non-beneficial geomagnetic lines. Um, this is really a huge thing for anybody who does dowsing or the grid work, that it clears these grid lines. Um, now then, it also, because it does go up those lines and does that clearing work, um, and it also clears portals and vortexes that are not for the highest and greatest good within that environment. Um, and, uh, and then still it does all the same with uh, the environment as it does for the person raising that in vibration, uh, clearing any of the energetic attachments that are not for the highest and greatest good. And so the rods, too, come with a little jump ring on the base in which you can fashion different tools onto. Now, you can put a pendulum on here, or, you know, you can get some of our cool little blings here, too, uh, that we produce here at the studio. But again, the tools are not going to change the energetics of the rod. Um, so... That was that. Um, I hope you guys all had a phenomenal journey and uh, look forward to hearing some feedback. Uh, love to know how it is that you guys have found to use these tools. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate that you showed up here and uh, are doing the work. So, yeah, please let me know how it goes. 
Mm. Namaste in a crash.